Okay, so now we're going to tie a fly called an Iron Dilly Fancy. And here I'm tying it on a size 8 Nordic double. And so far as I know, the fly was invented by Megan Boyd. Um, and there's a few different variations of it. Uh, the one I'm going to do here has uh, a silver and a red tag. But very often you'll see it just with silver. And I've also seen a long tailed version of it which I quite like. And you might see that one as well at some point. So we start off with a silver oval and we take that down to the bend of the hook. Put on two or three wraps and then I'm coming up through my legs of my double and I tie that off. Now I'm going to go down here and you can either use glow bright if you want or you can use your tying thread and build up a little red tag. do at this point is either super glue that or in this case varnish it. So tail in this one is golden pheasant topping. So I'm gonna look for a feather suitable for a tail in this one. Set that in there and tie across the flat portion of the topping. And then I'm just going to wet it. And leave it in position. Rib on this fly, same as the tag. It's a silver oval. So I'll put that on underneath my hook. And up down, touch and turns to the tail. And then coming up now, what I want to do here is leave a nice smooth underbody if I can help it, because underbodies transmitted through silk bodies so if you have bumps and lumps on your underbody that's going to show through whenever you put on your floss body so here I'm going to use uh, a yellow rayon floss so I'll come to a portion a few mil behind the eye if I take my length and put it onto my thread, double it over, and then I can slide that down and I get a couple of wraps across it that'll then allow me to wrap back. You can use single strand floss if you want, I like to double it because I think it gives me better and quicker coverage. So as you go towards the tail, if you start to wiggle your silk to splay it out back up. See, I'm just watch that you're not twisting your silk and getting like a rope formation because that'll cause quite a lumpy body as well. Come up the front, put a wrap over the top of that and fold it back and tie it. So, there's your floss body. You can leave it as it is, or what you can do is take this with an agate burnisher, dog tooth it's called, because of the shape of it. And these are tools that, as far as I know, are meant for like gold leaf work. 
and then you just smooth out any lumps and bumps in your silk with the burnisher. Right. We take our silver rib and we wind that forward. Hopefully in even turns. Or at least parallel. Generally you'll do four to five turns. Last turn's coming underneath and will be tied off just as it comes round towards me on my side. You may or may not be able to see that. And I would fold that back on itself as well. Just to stop it slipping out. So oh. now this has a blue hackle. You can change it for blue. And you can use a cock hackle if you feel like it, or in this case I'm going to use a little hen hackle. I'm just looking for one for for length here. off the unwanted portion and then I'll double the hackling I'm going to tie this on and fold it down like a false beard if you want you don't want to wrap a hackle here you can actually put on just a, a fake hackle or a, or a beard by using a bunch of fibers across its tip, flip it back on itself in a couple of wraps. And then we take our crackle pliers. Wind on. itself and tie it off. So now we have a hackle on, but what I want to do is sort of splay it out across the top and pull it mostly down underneath and then I'll put a couple of wraps across that. If you want, you can leave it like that, or you can go in here and trim off these fibers on top. Don't think it really matters. So, today's versions of this tend to use black wing. So what I'm going to do is use a bit of a fox mask because. As I've shown you before, I think the quality of the hair fibre up near the back of the head is very good, especially for short wings. So, if we take a bunch of that. Strip out a lot of the under fur. Transfer my hands, snip that off clean. I'm going to take my double needle and a little bit of super glue, just a tiny little bit on there. You don't want it to wick too far up. Set that on for the head and wrap it in place before it. up on you. Okay. I think there's a few fibers of the blue in my way that I don't think 
so I'll just take tweezers take those out so now we're going to put in jungle cock cheeks now what I'm going to do here is use some of the, the very small jungle cock here down the nape The fluff I don't want. Set that up on the side and put a wrap on to keep it in place. And then I'll do the same with the opposite side. Just measure them up across the top here for length. the waist ends. With my jungle cock. Too much. Essentially that is the fly tied. I'm just going to put a little run of super glue onto my thread there and then get a couple of turns on just so that it catches my jungle cock and that should keep that in place. So you can leave the fly as that if you want or put in some sort of flash. Um, so this one I'm just going to put in of strands over the top of this. So one strand doubled back on itself. And then trim that off to the length. Take the double needle. I'll just varnish off the head first here again with super glue, and then as I say, when that dries, we'll get covering the clear varnish on it. Thank you. 